We are starting off with breaking news at this hour. Police have discovered the body of an eight year old girl in a coffin in the back of a U-Haul truck. We are now learning two people have been arrested in connection to her death after officials say they traveled from Airway Heights to South Dakota. Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk is joining us live right now from Airway Heights with what we know about this investigation right now. Kyle. Well, in Whitney, a very active scene in this Airway Heights neighborhood on Redding Road, which is just a stone's throw from the Spokane Tribe Casino. You can see all this yellow crime tape behind me and the major crimes bus. We're told that they're in the process of getting search warrants uh, to enter this couple's home. And it's important to note that couple has not been charged with murder. We don't know how the eight year old girl died, but her father and his girlfriend are in custody in South Dakota, charged with failure to notify law enforcement of a death of a child. Now, according to police, 28 year old Alexander Kermoyov and his girlfriend friend 33 year old Mandy Miller traveled from Airway Heights to Mitchell, South Dakota with the body of Miller's eight year old adoptive daughter. The two were found at a house in Mitchell with a U-Haul tow behind the trailer. Uh, they told police there was a coffin in the back with a body inside. Now, according to police, Miller told them that her daughter died on September 10th. She did not seek medical care and the two were held onto the body because they quote wanted to spend more time with her and they were afraid that they would get in trouble. So Airway Heights police are now working with Spokane County major crimes team and we did speak to one detective just a few minutes ago. He says they do expect an autopsy will be done on that child to determine how they died. So still a very active scene here in Airway Heights. We're going to keep following this developing story. We'll report back as soon as we learn more. Whitney. All right, Kyle, thank you very much.